Hey everybody, one of Weezum here. It is uh, Thursday, February 11th. A long time no stream, and a couple of reasons for that. One, uh, super busy at work. Uh, two, uh, very, very poor internet. And three, I've had an issue the last, geez, probably right about around Christmas until a couple weeks ago, uh, my monitor would just black out all of a sudden. Uh, I don't think it was the monitor, I think it was the power supply, but uh, picked up a new monitor because the power supply cost pretty much what the monitor would, so we are back on that front now. Uh, this is kind of awkward. Uh, I like to stream shotgun farmers and do a bunch of matches and then split them up and make highlights and all that stuff, but uh, as I mentioned, my internet's pretty sad so we're gonna do something different and there's a lot to cover <laughs> and uh, uh, some of it may be spoiled based on what this does when we switch screens but uh, there's a couple of new things you've got like all the fancy voice chat and squads and uh, that goes back a couple updates there's a new weapon um, but one of the most important things and what we want to cover now and <laughs> trying to catch up is the north side map. The north side map came out a little bit before Christmas. Uh, subsequently, I didn't get to make that happen. Uh, now my nephew just texted to see if I wanted to play Madden. Uh, he doesn't have to go to school or work tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I was about to sleep in my chair a little bit ago. I decided I would do this. And uh, what I'm going to do is just play one match of 10 minutes so I can probably play with him, shower, and on with life, but I'm going to try to keep these short because I will be recording them and then uploading them, uh, so that adds a little bit more to my workload than just streaming and exporting, plus it's been a long time since I've recorded anything and I don't know if this is even working, so uh, that said, we're going to max this out, we'll go 10 minutes just so I can derp around on the map enough, something else that I like is this, you know, all the time, whenever I would like, there'd be a new map or a new weapon and I want to go play around and... Uh, then you have like all these people joining trying to kill you or something and it's like no I just you know, I'm trying to explore the map you know so uh, that is appreciated there's also like a streamer mode which I don't fully understand but I think it's basically where it would be incognito you know I guess if you had people the game got uh, way 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 more popular uh, than when uh, we were playing back in the day but uh, anyway what we will do is just jump in and check out north side, so uh, let me do this real quick. And yeah, that spoiled some things, <laughs> but uh, number one, I love the music here. Get those Number two, what was I going to say? Uh, this is one of the two spawn points, another one is sort of across a log that spans a chasm. Uh, this is your big juggernaut. You've got some healing in here. Whoa, jeez. Bots. Okay. So I do want to win, but I want to show you the map too. So we came in through a broken window. This is sort of the lodge of the ski resort. He just spawned here. He's immune. And he's got a better weapon than we do. Somehow he missed five times. Okay. So, um,. Back to what we were doing, I love this map because there's a dartboard, there's a pool table. Well, everybody, want to weave them here today? We're taking a look at Skylander Spider. No, uh, that's where I unbox things. It was a pool table. Uh, coming in over here, this is also a huge upgrade in my opinion. Uh, listen to this. don't have to stand right here to hear that when you activate it, but you know, just for the ambience and the fact that they took the time to put musical notes there, I stayed in the area. So, uh, let's see here, the sniper rifle, ah, beautiful, got the new one. Uh, this is going to be your boundary points here, you sadly can't go back there, um, it looks a, like a very inviting area. Uh, here we're going to have the uh, watermelon gun, we've got the sniper rifle over there, come up here, there's every once in a while some bots here not super frequently shout out to the teammates for carrying though As you can see we got a nice mountain over there we got two in the distance the aurora borealis 
Uh, something I noticed just a couple nights drop, ago, drop, inbound. laid on this quite a bit, is the ski lift. If you sit here long enough, you'll actually see ski lifts, so that's cool. Uh, there is some accolades for opening a number of drop drops, so we'll do that. Um, currently there's a bug... Oh, we fixed it. Okay, so a couple nights ago this was like impossible to find. Uh, well, I mean, you could break it open, of course, but... Uh, this is a good time to talk about something else. The lemons are new, and if you're curious what they do, essentially, uh, well, after science, and since the team is currently up six, I'm going to take you up here. And this is, of course, the double cob. I, I would imagine we've gotten to talk about it. I honestly can't remember. But what I want to do is pull the pin on one of these lemonades. I've got seven kills with it. It's very hard to get kills with it because I'll show you. Now, this will damage us. Wait. It's 15 on impact. Three, six, nine. So, lost 15 on impact, 85, and then we went down to 73. So it basically does 27 total damage. 15 of that, of course, being limited to the direct impact, and then residual splatter damage of 12. But pay attention, the main thing it's going to do is blind the opponent. So I can see where we're at, but you don't see super well. You know, like, oh, that was a person. I was going to say, it looked like there's a person here, and of course there's not, but there was. Uh, and of course, oh, hey, that did take some of our armor. I didn't pay attention to that, so those stats may be inaccurate. Uh, anyway, M6 Bean is important, but only for our next video. Whoa. Okay, that was a lot on impact. We were full health, full everything. <laughs> and we're getting shot, but this is probably not back yet. One of my favorite things is kind of parkouring through here. So case in point, Pac-Man gets done. Check this out. If you, you know, hit the rails just right, and you're like, if you're rushing up here, you can kind of make the jumps, and then you can sort of cut. I the feel some rain coming on. Skip it around. Oh wait, no, um, that's just a crop drop. You can, of course, stay here and snipe people. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> we can uh, get on top of the chair. We can get on top of the mantle. I was actually on the rocks there. And then you can get up there. It's really hard to do. Now we're not at full health, which makes it difficult. Should we try to get to the? That's probably open. So, teammates are still winning, but barely. So let me show you this. We're at 170. This will set you on fire. Okay, so it doesn't do much. About 13 is all. <laughs> but, uh, cool nonetheless. Also, check out the uh, billiards light. I don't remember that detail uh, when I would look earlier. It's kind of cool. Let's see. It's nice. Uh, what do we want to do now? I guess we'll grab this. Alright, well, speaking of weapons, let's uh, continue the, the investigation over here. So you can run the wall. I've done that numerous times. Nothing crazy's happened. Uh, this is a boundary, but this is where your chili thrower spawn's going to be. If we take this chasm here, it's going to kick us out to this area. Sort of a skating rink. Uh, right here you've got the uh, small thing of Moon Moon Oak. Same thing, nothing really over here, just like a dessert case type of a thing. This was hot chocolate, and this is uh, Bok Bok. <laughs> of course, you can still do that. Uh, note, this is sort of an Easter egg. This is a shovel I've currently got. It was part of the winter events. Teammates are still winning, so we'll continue to run around here. Uh, coming up this direction, more Aurora Borealis. Let's see if we can run them down. They're distracting from my tour. <laughs> Okay, so back to where we were. Uh, let's see here. This is just a little ski hut. It's got the spawn point somewhere around. A lot of times crop drops will crumb here. You can also find the uh, gnome on many occasions hanging out there. Yeah, that's true. So this is the M6 bean spawn, which again, we need to utilize that next time. Uh, right here, this is where I spawned the first time. Like I told you, there's two rough spawn points. Drop, drop, inbound! Uh, one of them being here, roughly. Kind of like, you know, the team spans from here over. I'm usually on this edge, and then this little thing runs across. Which, I guess we'll head over. I mean, why not? See if we 
get any anybody. Oh! A lemon kill on impact. That was fantastic. Okay. Did I give up the cob earlier? I couldn't tell you. It's really hard when there's clusters of things still to grab just the one item you want. Sometimes I like to pull the pin first. And we still didn't hit anybody, which is unfortunate. Um, let me... Oh, we're losing. Okay, well. It's fun while it lasts. I guess I should be able to too much time. Uh, the double cob is amazing. We're rapidly... Double kill! 500 kills. Triple kill! That's, uh, that'll probably... I don't know if that's in the game just yet. If What did I do? I harvested a shotgun, not this. I have that happen quite a bit lately, too. Like I try to pick up one plant and I seem to get another. I think it's probably internet related. You know, it's not like there's not the uh, thing I pick up in the area. There is, but it doesn't seem like it's what I grab type of a thing. Sometimes if you get the bot's attention, you get him to walk back into the pineapples. But, uh, speaking of that, let me run you over here. So this is a prime kill area, as you can see, based on all the carnage, <laughs> all the uh, shotgun plants. Okay. But if I take you down the stairs here, buddy, I'm I'm researching innocent. Okay, so this is our pineapple spawn. Uh, let's see here. Oops. I was hoping you'd back into that. Watch this though. Uh, this, if you can't tell, is slippery. I stopped running quite some time ago. I'm still moving. Uh, teammates are going to get the W here. This gives you an idea of what this looks like. If I run you through here, we've got some roadside cones, right? This is where the ghost pepper is. We take this direction, we pop out over here. It's basically where we spawned. Sniper rifle there. Minute hurry. Only a minute here. left. Uh, coming Rock down now. this direction kind of a cool deal. That's where we came in, sort of at the ice rink. This takes you up to the hillside. So if you're on this side of the map, it's pretty efficient. That's a strawberry spawn. Uh, look, we're at 58.95. Again, this is where you're most likely to discover that you can do that. Uh, let me... There's a spot that I discovered that the bots get stuck. I don't know that I can... Thirty seconds it. I think left. it's back here, yeah. So this doesn't actually... No. Somewhere, one of these has a ledge you can apparently go on without having something bad happen. There's 20 seconds though. I need to showcase this for you. So that's you tried to fly. Now I don't think you get an achievement just yet, but you really should. No one's open. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna make it. This is my usual path to greatness though. When I come, in. victory. And we timed out, but I think we at least covered the map there. So. Uh, let's see here, we've unlocked the mandolin sometime ago, so there's that, but, uh, yeah, let me, yeah, back out of here, shout out to Seabass, it's a pretty solid, solid bot performance for us. So, of course, your daily challenge is still up in the corner, event challenges, which I'm super happy they did this, are down in the corner, and here we go, I want to return to lobby, this will give you an idea of what we have coming. Uh, I guess for now I'll try to do like in minute-ish videos, kind of. You'll note that this is new. Uh, sadly, you couldn't see it in game, right? <laughs> but uh, the snowman is here. This was the winter event, and I didn't get my monitor back up and functioning in time to take advantage of that. So I was playing, and I would literally have the screen black out. Uh, it's frustrating and annoying, just like it seems like it would be. So what I want to showcase to you is if we come in and look at the old profile, right? That's kind of the stats where we stand right now. So, ooh, I'm up to nine with the Lemonade kill, so that's exciting. We picked up two here apparently in this one match, so that's great. Double Cop, we are ten away. I'm gonna restrain from killing people with that because I think there ought to be, typically, you know, it was around 500, you could pro insert weapon here. Uh, so that's an item of interest. The Molotov cocktail, I try and try and... We're at 115, so it's 150. Luckily, Quasi showed mercy on people. Pineapple Nade, Molotov cocktail, we're at 115. I don't know if a lemonade's been added in. I would assume it would be a 150. Possibly even less than that. I don't know for sure. But the M6 Bean, I've held off using that all this time that I've been playing, sort of 
off camera and not streaming because I know we get an achievement there, you know, the pro pro M6 beaner or whatever they call it. And we're six kills away, which we should be easily able to pull off in one match. So that'll probably be what we go for next, so I can actually start using it again. Uh, the strawberry bow, I would assume, would be around 500. I don't know how we don't have more watermelon kills. But anyway, uh, I'm thinking both of those would be around 500. Now, this should escalate rapidly. I've been trying to make a point to use it more and get better with it, uh, but that's not really why. Let me pop back and show you. It is the Valentine's events, okay? So when we click play, you'll note that this is here, and it's Strawberry Fields. Now, what's special about this one is not just the Strawberry Bow, uh, but it is you spawn with the Strawberry Bow. And so obviously that means maps that didn't have it, uh, maps where it was really hard to get to, or it was on the opponent side of the spawn type of a deal, and you could never get a fully loaded one. Now you spawn with them, they should be littered all over the map. Uh, so that's going to be handy and convenient. I can't remember if only strawberry bow kills count or not. We're going to have to research that one. That'll probably be the third thing we tackle. Uh, unless it's fourth, because it will hinge on if there's a pro double cob. But uh, the Valentine's event, that's the main thing, game mode wise, the strawberry fields. That's technically the same thing we've had in the past, but check this out right here. So, uh, of course, these are your daily challenges. They'll cycle, you know, as you go. But, you only have 10 days. This uh, Valentine's event appeared two nights ago, but it didn't have anything over here, and it didn't have strawberry fields yet. And then it had strawberry fields and nothing here, but now all this is here. So it's fully updated, fully fixed. And uh, five matches gets you a hat. 25 matches gets you that hat, which is kind of cool. 50 matches, you get a shovel skin. 100 matches, you get the pink version of this hat with the feather in your cap. And then at 150, you're going to snag the broken heart, right? I guess we should really cover this when we talk Valentine's Day. But so you kind of know what's coming. Uh, so let's come in here to customize. Right here, this is called Floppy Love kind of see it. Then you've got the Western Lover. Actually pretty cool. Uh, and then of course you've got Western Passion. So, uh, the thing is that's a lot of matches, not necessarily there, but the shovel skins are. There's no new badges. Uh, we're still missing that one, which ironically we were playing before that. I <laughs> don't have it. And then this one, which I've waited on my nephew to do level 50, you know, or try to beat level 50. Uh, this right here, okay, this will be Prestige 3, which we're nearly to Prestige 2, about 27 levels off. Uh, this right here is Zombie, Zombun, I should say. Note it says we have zero. We've killed thousands of zombies, but never since it was a registered statistic. Uh, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is if I can ever get my internet good enough to stream, I'm probably just going to go jump in that and see if we can pull it off you know, in one run, and uh, get the thousand kills, I would think you would be pretty dead getting close if you weren't, assuming you get to level 50. Now sadly, this will have to wait until next year to do Zomba, or uh, Snowbun. Uh, I got 18 winter event matches in, sadly. But, uh, Fancy Farmer, you've seen that. Uh, this, I don't think existed, but we got credit for it, maybe based on past stuff, is what I'm thinking. Maybe it's seasonal, and then right here, 100 winter matches. That's what I've been been rocking here lately. I know a lot of people are going towards spring and stuff. It's freaking cold here, and it's going to get colder, so I'm fine waiting. Uh, coming in now, 31 out of 34. <laughs> All right. So this we will unlock at uh, Prestige 1, which I guess that's when we get to the first five. I don't really know anymore. Uh, we'll figure it out, but right here, this is what I was looking for. Where's the second one? So they're not together for some reason, but... Um, 50 matches gets us the Spade of Hearts. That's a clever name. Works well for the shovel. I like the stroll work, the detailing. And Quasi had like three different people work on these, so... <laughs> that's how much the game has grown, you know. Uh, right here, this is the Heartbreaker. I figured that's what it would be called. Uh, basically just a reskin version of that if you prefer black, if Heartbreak. You know, go that route. But we did, uh, have been rocking the snow globe, and hat here. I was just going with the one of Weez and one I thought it looked good on the snowman, so I'll stick with that for now. <laughs> and uh, I think that's about it. So that gives you an idea of what we will be working towards. Again, uh, my internet has just been really bad, and then again, I can't tell you 
it's very hard to do anything on the computer, let alone play a game, uh, when it like blacks out. Sometimes, you know, I would crawl under my desk, unplug the power supply, count to ten, plug it back in, and it would come back on and stay that way for a couple hours. Other times, I'd crawl under my desk, count to ten, plug it in, roll my head out, see the screen light up, and then it instantly went black. And I never knew what was going to happen, <laughs> whether it was going to be fixed for ten minutes, fixed for two hours, uh, or just, you know, black screen again in like 15 seconds. And a lot of times it would do that. I would stay on my knees under the desk, thinking it was going to fail, and it would stay on. I'd pop back up, sit down in my chair, get back in the middle of the match, and boom, black screen. <laughs> so, uh, sort of a buzzkill there. But uh, anyway, I think that sort of updates you. Again, I wouldn't have told you all of this Valentine stuff, but it's here on the screen. So kind of seems like we have to now. But uh, this literally just popped out today, uh, the event challenge thing, so I'll need to get on that. I'll probably start doing five-minute matches, and maybe two of them, and that way we can crank the videos out and work towards that. So uh, it's the shortest match I think you can do now, the longest match you can do now, ten minutes. Uh, certainly a far cry from when you could do, like, really, really short three-minute matches, I think, and uh, I liked the 20-minute matches myself. A lot of times, you know, I would come in and do that when I was just going to explore a map or something. But uh, nonetheless, I guess things change as, you know, more players come about, so um, a little after 11 here, I guess I'll <laughs> see if my nephew still wants to play Madden, and uh, maybe I'll try to get this edited and uploaded for you. The other thing, two days ago, February 9th, that was an important date in this channel's history. The uh, marked the 10 year anniversary of my time on YouTube. So, February 9th, 2011 would have been the day I started the channel, and uh, here we are 10 years later, which uh, it's crazy. <laughs> crazy to think it's been that long. Uh, a lot of times in the past, YouTube's shot itself in the foot multiple times. You know, you always thought it couldn't get any worse than it did. But as I've always said, why am I still here? Why do I still upload things? Because I enjoy it, it's fun. Uh, a lot of you have sort of like grown up on the channel, if you will. That's what I said in my post. I see the people that come back and leave the comments like, so nostalgic, or, oh, my childhood. Uh, a lot of you just say, man, I'm, it's so cool to come back and see you're still doing this stuff. And uh, my last video prior to this, I think it's when my nephew and I unboxed the Xbox uh, Series X. I had a really cool series I was going to do, and I wanted to have it up in 2020. That was very important to me. Uh, it didn't happen because of my internet. Uh, also, the capture card kind of... Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't, so I'll probably have to upgrade that if I want to. But I kept trying to find it on PC so I could do it there, and it just doesn't seem to seem to exist, but I'm sure somewhere out there on some pirated website we could pull it off. But try to do things legally, even though I technically own the original game. The second original game, I guess we should call it. More on that later. Hopefully it's piqued your interest. I don't think anyone will <laughs> have a clue what it is, and probably very, very few of you played it, and probably an equal number of people never heard of the game. And it's not going to bring in a ton of views, it's not going to bring in a ton of subscribers, nothing like that. It's just something I really want to do. Uh, that's that's what we're shooting for. So that said, that is the plan. Next video, we should pull off M6 Bean, get the pro status there, and then I can finally use that comfortably without the fear of missing recording that. Uh, I'll check the status. I'll see if the double cob has pro status and anything like that. If it does, we'll pull that off, and then we'll just jump right into the Valentine stuff. But uh, the North Side map. Let me know your thoughts on that. I personally love it. Uh, it's a very nice change of pace, but the music is really, really good. Um, I think it fits the map pretty well. I think the Christmas tree does stay. That was one of my questions, was if the tree stayed all year. I think it's going to, which that's fine with me. Um, the other thing... <laughs> Uh, I didn't cover it in the video, but some of you might be wondering about it. I've tried pretty much everything I know of to melt the ice on the ice skating rink, whether you fall through and die, take damage, can crawl out, uh, can like dunk your opponents in frigid water. I've never pulled it off yet. I'm assuming it's not a thing. I'll probably continue to waste time when we have big leads and matches trying to make it happen. <laughs> but uh, currently, I don't think it's a thing, so... I'll leave it at that, but again, to get 150 B-Day matches, we got, to, got a lot of, lot of shotgun farmers to go, but like I said, this weekend is supposed to be super terrible weather, you know, it's like high digit, high temperatures in the single digits, wind chills like 
well below zero. I'm talking like negative 25 type of stuff. And now they've updated to where we're supposed to have like six to nine inches of snow. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, not, uh, not a great weekend for being outside or doing things where you'd be cold. So uh, maybe we'll crank out 150 matches with shotgun farmers. Who knows? But I'll also attempt to get the board mode stuff going to you. Anyway, I'm going to quit rambling. I do hope you enjoy. If you have been watching for 10 years, hats off to you. Uh, leave a comment, hashtag 10 year anniversary. Maybe I'll throw that up on the wall of Weezum. Yes, that's still a thing. Uh, and I have played quite a bit of Minecraft because I found it was a good game. As long as I wasn't caving and I had a bed on my hotbar, I was able to play that and kind of survive the black screen. It was super annoying though. But uh, anyway. <laughs> Until next time, which shouldn't be too long, and we'll see how this goes. Again, I'll try to keep these like in the 10 to 20 minute range just so I can easily edit and upload, hopefully, and uh, get some content uh, for you. That's it. Hope everyone is doing well. I hope you're excited about Valentine's Day. <laughs> I guess maybe it's not as cold where you live. Maybe it's colder. Who knows? But uh, I'm going to go play some Madden with my nephew, and I will catch you back here for more Shotgun Farmers action. Adios.